Well, hello there, and good day. Thanks for joining me. I'm Frost PDP, and today we're playing Brigandine Grand Edition. This is Necrotic Norgard Episode 4. It's our cross mod campaign. Here's a look at the domain. Uh, this is going to be a wacky game. The Leonid border is stable. They've got a pretty good army. They might attack me, but I can defend. Uh, the Amekia border, they can't attack me. I think they've got too many of their armies just arrived. Well, one of them did. I guess Lance could still try with uh, Gilsus. It wouldn't be a bad army. I've got a very weak team in Soul Steam right now. I can afford one more retreat before I have to really worry about my like core area being compromised. Because if I retreat to Cardiff, I've still got... Oh, no. I'm pretty screwed, actually. I really do need to hold that. So, next turn. I can actually sacrifice this castle, this noise. And just move like two armies here and one army there and just whatever so even then i lose juice it's weird it's not the best situation let's say but uh logress has nothing defending it and also i have an army ready to move and i'm just gonna hit it i know i could go for cadbury It'd be a really easy win but they'd probably retreat which i don't want i'd rather get some kills in it. plus uh, Lawgress is worth 1,500 mana per turn. And I can use that mana to buy troops to defend against any of my borders. Or get ready to attack into Leonia, which is where I really need to go right now. But I can't. So, with all that in mind, P.S. Uh, it's worth noting that Almechia has just... Just a freaking easy shot here. <laughs> like, easy, easy shot. So they'll get this, then this, but they can't get into Orkney. I mean, they could. They could hit Orkney. And then they're one, two away from Lagrest themselves, and if Lance becomes a king, we have real problems. So just don't want to attack for this turn. Play it safe. I mean, I think I can hold against two knights here with this team. Patricia doesn't have Spear Throw, but she has Icefall, which is kind of nice. Firebird can tank. I got a lot of units with 2 or 3 range here. You know, got some tankiness, got some actually back row major -y shenanigans. And I can just throw enough magic Lance's way that I don't think he would try to fight me this turn. The golem would fall to the magic quickly. Seraph is a problem. Uh, he might go for it. He might be able to win too. I've got a lot of holy nothing to offset plus frost edge blocks him from being too vulnerable to magic like maybe green except he's got a green dot already <laughs> oh god he'll kill me he's level one i can beat him i'd have to do something clever but i could beat him and at least stall him to the point that like all right i retreat here I just get my guys out of this noise and go here. It's doable. Let's go! Carleon invades Ultroot. Oh no. Carleon avoids Counterborn. We knew this would happen. The Empire, once you take Jukes, the Empire is just screwed. It's, it's a corpse. Like any completely insane revolutionary military might be. By the way, for those of you who don't know about the little new picture at the bottom right hand corner is made by veracity trigger i believe he does commissions so you might be interested interesting deployment advance win i don't really care what they say now i could come straight down and kill solio or i can shenanigan myself around to get a nice shot at melee kill her maybe take a firebird and take out one of their bigger magical threats. Plus, that puts War and Vlad in a pretty negative position. Or I don't have to fight them. <laughs> the problem is marching through these woods will take a long time and be rather time inefficient. And also not leave me a lot of turns for dealing with Kator, who's got over a thousand hit points. And is on a castle. But I can deal with the castle because I can just smash Soul Yield's face in. 
kill his critters quickly, but have a strong guard on my right flank, their left, deflect this. She's out of range to mage me anyway. I think that's a better solution, to be honest. Also, Gwyn's a higher power level than Vaynard. That's a thing. Am I saying right? Vaynard? Vaynard? I don't know. I don't care. I mean, I guess I care. I respect the guy, but... I'm not very good at getting things right. It's kind of just my life story. I am totally stealing bringing in character names for a short story, though. Probably more than one. But the one I'm working on in particular has a Leland and a Haley and a Brangian. And the Haley uses a sword, and the Leland uses a giant axe, and the Haley uses a space plasma rifle type thing. Sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi, like. Powered on ancient magic. Well, not ancient. It's powered on magic harvested by killing monsters, actually. So, you know, just in case you're bored. I don't really talk about my writing when I game, but... I don't know, maybe there's less of a reason to be worried about that than I've always thought. Uh, let's put this guy here. I should probably buff up before I go in. Put the pixie in here, here. Yeah, see, they don't even have, like, units to worry about. Hey, Kyle Schweinmeier. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, Cross Mod is a mod created by Arovolos. Uh, you can find out a lot more about it on the Brigandine Discord, which we have a Brigandine Discord. There's a subreddit, but it's not as used, and there's a fan site as well. Um, real quick, let me see if I can pull an invite, or at least an invite text. What did I just do? I don't want to do that. Crap. Uh, I love when I click things I don't mean to click. Alright, I can't do that right now. But the point is, um, Cross Mod is a mod. It's basically you install it as a patch to an ISO, and it heavily changes things up. So, as a quick example, uh, Giants have Fury. Uh, fairies start off with Bolt. Uh, centaurs have three range. High Centaurs get double act. Um, and a bunch of other goodies that are really cool and I feel add a lot of replayability to the game. They make it go faster, for lack of a better term. So your perceived time and energy in playing it uh, you've got more movement range. You've got more offensive options. You've got a faster state of stuff happening. It also changes up levels and whatnot. Oh, you're watching the old multiplayer. Well, that ended a while ago, but don't hesitate to keep watching because it was awesome and we had a lot of fun. And it really went down to the wire. Like, it was a matter of sheer can we survive. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but, but go ahead. We are planning to do another multiplayer. So, that's another thing to bear in mind. We're going to do, like, one because there's a new game coming out. Finally, after 20 years, there's a new Brigandine game coming out. And it's, uh... What do you call it? It's... Being made in Japan. It's called Legend of Runerzia. It's, I guess, maybe set in the same world, but, like, 500 years later. We don't know a lot about it. I mean, at least I don't. I deliberately avoid spoilers for stuff. Like, I did that with Terminator Dark Fate. I avoided spoilers, and I was mostly happy with the movie. <laughs> mostly. Uh, so, there's that. I like, we have an Arnold here, who's a level 12 titan with gray hair. Reminds me a lot of Carl from that. Yeah. Um, sorry to hear that you can't join. Um, it's really hard to schedule those things. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work on my end. I think there's going to be a little bit of Especially if it's five or six players. Like, there's a lot of, hey, am I fighting this week? Because <laughs> we had that more than once. You'd show up to a multiplayer and just you wouldn't do anything. You'd just be on hold. And it, I won't beat around the bush. It kind of isn't that fun when you're stuck doing that. Unless you can, like, do other stuff. Like, I can. I can turn my mic off or use my headset mic to flip on and off. And I can write while I'm 
listening to gameplay and then just flip them down and be like, hey, here's some stuff going on. Uh, put the, the dragon here just for now. Get some clearance. You're slow. You can go here. Everything else stay where you... You can move forward a bit. And I suppose you can, too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got here. We're gonna fury everybody we can or need to up. So how long have you been playing the game? Are you an original player? Did you start off just kind of like years later? I had, uh, for what it's worth, I had Legend of Forcina. Well, a friend had Legend of Forcina. Somehow I wound up with it. Yeah, it really is. Like, it's great fun, but it's so tiring to like have to manage life that well. <laughs> but lack of a better way to put this. You really do have to manage your own life really well to do this sort of thing. Like, oh, I know what nights I'm playing. My wife knows what nights I'm playing. All that jazz. Uh, I'm trying to cremate you. I want you on the outside. Yeah. The AI is also more aggressive in this. Now, if I'm doing a big first strike, I don't really want to send Gwinglin down in. But I may want to send my Archer down in. Get a twang off on Soliel. He's got green defense, does he? I forget. Nothing. He does have HP recovery 5. That's a problem. But a twang is a twang is a twang. Yeah, I can move this thing down like here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, yeah. So who do I want to fury? I actually want to fury my archer. Since I was a kid, 27 now, still play all up, playing it now. Just found all you guys on my well. Awesome, man. And if you want to make your own, let me know. I'm happy to take a peek. If I can be of any help. Move you one down. I'm gonna move you one down. I mean, if they want to come at me, they can. They're more than welcome to. It would be a very bad idea for them. How far can I get? I can get to the front from these things. Things level five. I don't really want to lose it. I rank GE way higher than I rank the fault. I think the 3D battles are a cool little thing, but they're way too slow. I think the uh, I think the animated style for GE is better. Uh, I know you can turn off animations on both, but I just like the animated style on this. Uh, I also feel like it's better balanced, and there's you know more cool units. Like you have Iria and Dinadan have their own special units. And I feel like there should have been more of that with this. Like, Gwinglin should be his own guy. Uh, or maybe Brangine should be her own gal. With some sort of super roided archer. I don't know. I feel like having, uh... You know... Maybe Kiloth could be something special. Or Patternus. Or Haley. Haley could be something special. But I definitely recommend you pick up G if you can. I can at least move you down one. It's fine. 
and stay there. down. Like the three element thing? Yeah, definitely. I, I forgot about that, but yes, you're right. The elemental system is really useful in this mod. And in Grand Edition in general. Not just the mod. Um... Be in Store Fury? Anyone's gonna wind up in like serious crazy combat, it's probably gonna be Gwyn, right? She's gonna be guarding that flank that's gonna have Kator running on it. And if I need to terminate something. Like, I could try to target Kator and gank him. I have the right team for it, honestly. I have a lot of holy. But I don't wanna. I feel like that's pushing too hard. Let them keep these units for now. Um, just killing him doesn't guarantee I'll get them, and I'd have to go through them to get to him. So... Best is to just murder that guy. I'm gonna lose Drage. Giants do not normally have Fury, that's part of the mod. Good eye, though. up. Let's just advance one more so we can get my giants kind of into play. Again, I mean, at this point, if they want to come for me, they can, but it's going to be a very bad idea. Documents end under unfun times. I mean, for them, not for me. I'll enjoy them. Hey, Jin's have three range, too. Ah, oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Mm hmm. There's two hits on him. I mean, they could try to straight up just attack me. If 
so I'd have Soliel's team. Melee is too far away to really do much. And Kato's squad would just try to get up. Couldn't even make it into the battle. And I'd have all day to just breath attack and range them down and it'd be beautiful. So do you wanna defend or attack, AI? I guess I'm dangling that uh, Jin form. Ooh, Dimension. Dimension has unlimited range, by the way. <laughs> okay. All right. Well played. Paralyze? Ah, crap. <laughs> Yo, really? All right. I mean... Paralyze? Eh, crap. Uh, yeah. Just... Oh, please paralyze the healer. Playing. It's green. It's not going to do much. So, yeah. I guess I dangled the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. So, uh, the cross mod is made by Aurobolos. Uh, he made and maintains it. Uh, definitely check out our Discord for more. Still going. Very good. Okay. Um, but it changes around a lot of the basic mechanics for GE. So what it does is, for example, it gives gives Giant's Fury. It gives Jin's a uh, range of three for their base attack. It gives centaurs a base of three for their range attack and then it gives high centaurs act times two and just stuff like that well i can really get in there and do some damage you're dead though my question is how do i just make this setup work for me i can actually probably assassinate this thing real fast or Vlad. Which do I need dead more? Second surround Vlad immediately, pretty much. See, it's tempting to try to murder their monsters, but truth is, they're going to be hard-pressed to use them for anything useful. Um, This might be a once in a campaign opportunity to kill these things. Kill them early, feed my units XP. Keep distance enough that he can't nuke me. Never mind, he's got holy word. This enough that Kador can nuke me. It's triple black. Got res. It's hard decisions. Yep, yeah, Trigger does not play around when it comes to resing. It's one of the more powerful spells in the game. I'm 
personally a little more attached to React, but I definitely don't blame him for that. I want my Silver Dragon to hit here. So what does that mean for me? It means Vlad is really the target here. Um, Silver Dragon here, it's also got breath potentiality next turn on an equally dangerous target, I would say. And it gets encircled, that's a bad idea. Alright, let's stop messing around here. I think I'm killing them. Because the more I think about it, the more I see there's really only one way out of this. This might stun it. He didn't. But, nice try. Wow! That was a lot of damage. Chop Chopper? I actually need to keep this thing alive. It doesn't have a ranged attack, it's just sitting there. Eh, whatever. Crit 123. Chill lock? Yeah. I almost can't pass up the opportunity to take a swing at this thing. 328 attack. Crit, 348. And paralyze. Perfect. Free damage is free damage, right? Or I can paralyze this thing. I can hit this and no retails. Maybe paralyze it. 104? Yes! Alright. That's excellent. If you're facing a regen army, your best bet, I mean, first of all, in cross mod, I don't think this is true in Grand Edition, but in cross mod, one spell auto kills anything you husk, by the way. So, you see husk, don't think, hey, this is unbeatable, think, hey, uh, I just gotta figure out how to beat it. So this position relatively safe now. I need all the front lining I can get. That's my problem. Do I leave a shot on the board? Better question. If I shoot this thing, 100% no counter. It's a good way to start damaging it before it can start melee countering. Burns the fury, but it's really not essential to me. 130. Pretty good. Bye bye bye. almost definitely kill this thing. No, 
And if I can't, well, it's a free hit. The next turn it dies, and it sets up a surround on the vampire. Or, but I think the AI would run. Yes, I think it might. And I have no other units that could really hit it, so might as well try. 183. That's level 19 monster dead. That's a lot of experience for him. And now... I got my dragon in. Maybe take a bite out of this angel? Maybe miss the angel. Oh shit. That was a huge mistake on my behalf. Crit, 270, I could have killed this thing, ah! It's all right. Now, I have my reasons. Magic do you have? That is much. If you don't get out of here, you're dead. Chop chop. One thirty. Shield lock. The guy needed it from the least, but he got it done. Now I move the chin down here. Airstorm this. At least have the centaur surrounded. I can take a bite out of him. Crit 160. Back him off one. Have this come down, have it surrounded. 89% chance to hit. Hits, kills, 222. Four. 
less than ideal. I think they'll run. I think they know better. But I guess if they really want to try their luck. Ow, you're brave. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some units. That's fine. Yes, being able to see hit chance is extremely great. Okay, so that's dead. Oh well. Also, area heal affects all units. Yep, retreat. Thanks for the experience. 186. Ouch. <laughs> Why? 79. That's about right. Sure. 46 versus... 76. Shield block. Alright, cool. So we just captured Logress. That's perfect. We lost a unit. We killed a level 19 unit. And a centaur. And yeah. That dimension worked out great. <laughs> yeah, Airy Hail heals all units. Dim oh, they went for Orkney. So, yes. Okay. Scallion invades Heavery. Galley just cut Carleon off. Palamedes quests, Flower Girl. Agility. That's not bad form. Your Majesty, Luintail is here to see you. Another night is always good. Interesting. Show him in. Your Majesty, thank you for seeing me. Luintail, it's been a while. <laughs> As I recall, you left Norgard claiming I was too young to be an able king. What's your business here? Well, uh, I can't even concur. Yeah. Uh. Have you my competency? Lord, I might presume. Yeah, you, you did. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of buying a switch too, um, but I'm kind of broke. So we'll see. So that gives me a bunch more mana than I would have had last turn. And for that alone, that's pretty valuable. I also have two knights on this castle that I can start dropping. Oh, he comes with a Colossus. Divine Ray, Bolt, Geno Bolt, and React. Loon Town, my man, you've been holding out. <laughs> Let's figure this out. Uh... Reactor is better than his army anyway. It just costs 40 now. That sucks. Gives it a little more movement range. Ooh, 
what's his weapon? Death hand. Not bad. That almost tells me he belongs over in Leonia. Alright, let's start organizing things a bit here. The new Norgard playthrough. It's uh, episode four, so think like four or five battles. I mean, I think Almechia is a little too powerful for its bridges. Monsters are different in this because some castles you can summon like a Marid. You can summon second level creatures. Uh, in La Grasse, <laughs> the AI can't summon these, but the human can. <laughs> so if you've seen the Bulnoil fight, or I'm sorry, the Snake of Chaos fight, you know what this guy is. And I guess it doesn't matter that he comes level 30 because he'll turn into whatever monster you hit him with. Act times two? Oh no. So that's a neat little thing to know. Can I summon here? In angel, demon, griffin. Scorpion. I can make a scrap army, put Lou and Tail in it, get them over here, and have a solid chance of doing good here. Dillard is a competent fighter, actually. He's got a uh, melee pre move. Build a stack of mermen and just frost them to death. Mermen. A couple of ghouls for the front line, a bunch of this stuff. Bolt and shield and just go. A couple of griffins for good measure. Yeah, hit and run is really good. They're trapped. They're trapped. And Almeki is a danger. I can hold off on doing much of anything with Leonia for a while, but that's fine. Obviously, I'm just going to keep attacking with uh, Vaynerd. I'm either going to go here or here. Depends. I'd be risking Lagras, though.
But if I don't, I get in a circle no matter what. I'm just I'm really freaking bold. I'm pretty bold. One, two, three. One, two. They're my favorites. I can still summon a creature or two if I need. I'm literally just putting oh, you suck. scrap monsters in here at this point. See, in a scenario where you're willing to accept high casualties for little to no gain, I mean, this works out perfectly. These guys cost as much as a lizard man? Really? Is it because of their evolutionary potential? I thought I said heal them up. I mean, you said level them up. Yeah, it's up too. You don't have a ranged pre-move, do you? No, you don't. You kind of suck. You do have hit and run. The fairies can throw a protect and or a bolt. One frost spell, two frost spell, three force frost spells, a shooter. Ice fall, melee range, and limited ammo. I really wish I had some limited ammo, guys. You got fire and a fire bird. I'm willing to accept high casualties to win this battle. Because I know... This bastard is gonna come. And when he does, he's gonna bring a lot of firepower with him, and I have to just kinda dink and dunk and kill what I can. And if he comes at me with this army, forget it. Might as well just retreat. can't even get troops for Lumintail. You know, I can afford a Hydra. I think I need it. Yeah, I feel like it adds a lot of level ability and versatility. This is probably a defensive battle, so... I mean, I don't know. If they leave me an opening, I'll attack them, but I think they will. Get a lot of fire, though. A lot of fire. It's very killable. I think the worst case scenario would be if they send like one army here, four armies here, get this fight first, then get this fight, and I'm trapped and I have to try to hold. Well, not that I couldn't, but it'd be tricky, I guess. I think you mean. React. 
Yeah, fairies are definitely react batteries. You can drop a react and a bolt, or a gina bolt from defensive. So I could react Vinerd. React the, the dragon. <laughs> Give it breath. <laughs> react Gwanglin and Fury him and just go to town. Oh dear. <laughs> hey kid, or chop chop. Chop and then pre move chop chop chop. Better. Better if I could even pre Fury Gwyn. Then react, melee, re fury, super melee. Mm, that's beautiful. Oh, this guy also has react, by the way. And somehow we got equipped with a Leviathan, so he's double red, and he's double blue, and he's probably got some green in there. He's a problem. Not enough troops. I have enough knights. I really wanted. Because I can just give this castle up. And defend here instead. Uh, maybe not. Okay. I'm lying. If I get a chance to invade Leonia and take the castle from them, that's a good idea. I could even sacrifice a lot of Norgard to take Leonia. But that's another story. So I can hold one, two. I'm sorry, I can hold one. I can hold two. And on all of Leonia, I can hold three. You can lock that down with one, two, and then a third knight here. We'll lock down. Everything from here to this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven castles. Two of them being capital castles. And really, if you're holding this down, you can hold this down too. It's like twelve castles. Yeah, you can have a lot of elements in this game, in this mod, like, I have two green from my armor, and then a bunch of blue from my stuff. Where is it? Organize, equip. Yeah, two resist, two blue, plus whatever I have naturally. Like, he's got a hidden to resist. I think Lance is the most ridiculous. Look at that. One holy, th two red, and three, green, three blue. Wait, he's got Geno Fire and Healing World. He's an Avenger. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Trice Jarian might be the easiest thing to get rid of here. <sighs> well, it's been about an hour. Me too. I think they will. I think they will. Um, I think they'll take more inspiration from GE just because it's a better game, to be honest. Uh, the Empire is in some bad shape. Wrist can probably just push straight into Carleon at this point, to be honest. Yep. Wrist is here. 
Drist and Iria with a five, level 5 Fafner? Holy crap! Yeah, um, if I'm Scally, I'm sacrificing Carnivore. Putting a sixth arm, putting three army here, and just going in. Just going for it, man. Leonie's got Galloway. Galloway's a ninja, by the way. He's very fun. Charlene's good too. Yeah, Charlene's a level one sea maid with the rapid harpoon. She's a beast. Falcos is really good. So is Trigger, in case I haven't said it. But with all that said, I've been playing for about an hour now. So I'm going to take a break. I would like to thank you all so much for joining. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, whatever buttons. Don't hesitate to join the Brigandine Discord, the Brigandine Engine site. All links in the descriptions when these go up on YouTube. I'm trying to be better about uploading, but I'm still nowhere near where I'd want to be with that. And as always on this channel, La Paz.